Okay, so we're in Natural Trap Cave and we are collecting Ice Age mammals. This is a very nice one. This is a stilt legged horse, which is an endemic group of horses, completely um, uh, unique to North America, kind of like the asses of, of Asia, which no one really knows about. But anyway, this is a, a demonstration of how we're sampling the material. So, this is a metapodial, so this is ganged into the foot of the animal. They're called stilt legged horses because, as you can tell, very long and thin uh, legs. Uh, which they, they think they're adapted to hard ground, traveling on hard ground. So what I'm doing here is sampling, um, hence the mask and gloves. I'm using a, a Dremel drill with a carborundum uh, cutting disc on the end of it. And uh, effectively, I'm cutting out a chunk of bone here. And uh, this is going to allow us to do uh, DNA extraction and also to radiocarbon date the specimen and uh, potentially also to look at the isotopes of carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen in the bone that will tell us about uh, what the, the animal was uh, eating. And so, um, just to kind of show you how we're doing it without contaminating things with, with modern DNA, I'm going to um, take this sample out. You see I've cut four holes. I originally learned how to do this by watching the unbearable likeness of being. Um, and then I have a high-tech uh, hammer here. Which I knock this. And as you can see, we open that up. There's the inside. The colour's not fantastic, but it's not too bad. You see it's this lighter brown cross-section. There's the, um, the marrow cavity. What well, was the marrow cavity? It's obviously not full of marrow now. Um, quite thick, heavy bone. The staining from the um, water and soil has gone right the way through this. Uh, sometimes it doesn't happen. Um, and I'll show you an example of that in a moment. So what I'm going to do is just uh, label it up. This is the sample that we take back to Australia um, via our quarantine service. So I'm just going to tap that into there. Like that. And then uh, that allows us to do DNA, carbon dates, etc. This specimen will stay in a museum as a reference material because once we've carbon dated it, it becomes quite valuable for a number of other um, reasons as well. You can use this for measuring the morphology, how shape has changed through time. And that's what we take back. So it goes into our big bag of samples here. Got lion teeth and various other funky things. Um, and this specimen is labelled up with its cave number and goes the museum for future scientific research to work out uh, to connect the DNA results we get with um, the shape and size and uh, many other studies of, of that specimen.